Hello, and welcome to another installment of Spotlight on Special Needs, a podcast series from the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Today, we are speaking with Dr. Rebecca Landa, Director of the Center for Autism and Related Disorders at the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Dr. Landa recently published a study that shows early intervention activities performed with very young children with autism can improve the way they connect and socialize with others. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Landa. Can you tell us about your study on early intervention among young children with autism? Sure. This is a study that really aimed at trying to improve what are the very core impairments of autism, and those involve social development. Because social development is a major predictor of outcomes for children with autism, we really wanted to try to improve those skills as early in life as possible. So we compared two groups of toddlers with autism. Their ages ranged between 21 and 33 months. And these children uh, were sorted randomly into two different conditions. Both groups got the same exact intervention for six months, but one of the groups got a greater number of orchestrated opportunities for social engagement. And the results showed that early intervention really did improve these core symptoms of autism spectrum disorders in very young children. And that is that in the, in the group that got the greater number of orchestrated opportunities for social engagement, those children really um, made lasting gains in the ability to imitate others and initiate shared attention with others and to share emotions. So we really saw this beautiful improvement. Dr. Landa, what are some of the details of the study findings? Well, I mean, what was really exciting was that both, both groups did show improvement in some aspects of development um, that were addressed by both interventions. That is, things like improving in language abilities. Um, that was very exciting to see that what we used as our base intervention was so lovely that uh, children, all you know, both groups of children were able to respond to that and get better. But the other big thing that we found was that um, you really have to directly uh, address these social difficulties for children with autism. You can't treat other things like play and language and, and cognitive abilities and expect these social things will automatically get better. That just didn't happen. Um, so what we found out was when we really did directly teach these special social abilities that are so central to the impairment of autism, that um, these uh, skills were differentially improved in the group who got that intervention. Great. And Dr. Lando, why are these findings important for the autism community? Well, first of all, it gives us enormous hope uh, about early intervention. There are no medical cures for autism. And so what we really have to do is to find out uh, how children with autism are learning and then directly um, develop treatments that use their strengths to address their most uh, significant challenges. And that's exactly what we did in this study. And so this study shows that you can put toddlers together with other children their age, which is so important in life. I mean, we, we really want children to learn from other children. We want them to learn to make friends from early in life. And so what we found was that when we create this very normalized kind of environment with uh, other kids who also, in this case, had autism, um, and really have a specialized curriculum and special teaching strategies that we can actually change the course of development from these, for these children. In the end, that's going to um, make them do better academically in school. They'll have more well-adjusted social lives. They'll be less stress in the family. And, and ultimately, it's a less cost uh, to society and to the families. And what are potential next steps? Well, the next steps that we have to do are to compare this treatment to the way treatment is usually delivered in the world. So remember, this study is one of the most significant things about this study is the fact that we were dealing with two-year-olds very early in their lives. And so 
the way children who are two years of age right now who have developmental difficulties are treated is they're treated usually in their homes um, using what we call a parent-mediated model. That is where parents are coached to learn how to use the strategies to um, help their children develop these social connections and communication and play. Um, the problem with that is that as wonderful as it is, we think that it might be possible to make even greater gains from kids when you put them together with peers. And when you have this concentrated two and a half hour chunk of time where they're super, super focused on having fun, but in a very, very, very growth-oriented, developmentally-oriented kind of uh, an intervention. And so we're, we are in the process right now of comparing this classroom intervention to uh, what the world would consider the model that treatment should be delivered in, the parent-mediated model. And another important next step is to take the intervention down to younger ages. And so we're in the process right now uh, of piloting a study a similar study with one-year-olds who are showing signs of autism. Thank you for your time, Dr. Landa. For more information on autism research at Kennedy Krieger Institute, please visit www.kennedykrieger.org.